Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin 4 runner 35 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. Start! You can pair this watch with an iPhone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the uh, setup process of the watch. So basically if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings and the other way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already uh, set up because you can set it up without pairing it with a phone. First I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process, then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Okay, so let's continue. And first thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the light button. Once you see the Garmin logo on the screen, you can release the button and wait until the watch turns off. Or rather, turn, turns on, my bad. And once the watch turns on, you should see the list of languages on the screen if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings and you can scroll through this list by using the uh, down button like this uh, find the language you would like to use on your watch and select it oh, unfortunately we can't scroll up so i need to go all the way down to select the english and then press the activity button to confirm the language and as you can see now we're being asked if we want to pair our a watch with a smartphone we want to do it so make sure the yes is selected and press the activity button and watch will enter the pairing mode basically it will look like this you will have this animation ready to pair and this is gonna go, be, be going by this bar okay now we need to download and install the garmin connect application on the iphone we want to pair our, our watch with so make sure you have the internet connection and bluetooth enabled once you do open the app store in the App Store, tap on search, tap on search bar and type in uh, Garmin Connect. And the, on the search results, you should see the Garmin Connect app. Tap on it, tap on the get button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on open to open it. In the app, you may see the pop-up about the Bluetooth permission. If you see it, tap on allow. And now we need to log in into a Garmin account. If you don't have a Garmin account, tap on create account button and make a new one. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on sign in. Check the box, tap next. And log in by entering the email address and password. So give me a couple of seconds. Okay, then we can tap on next. And usually after you log in, your app will detect or try to detect the nearby devices and should detect your watch automatically. Also, you may see the pop-up about the notification permission. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. If you don't care, you can deny it. If you want to use this feature, tap on allow. As you can see this page, the app detected the watch, we can tap on connect it, enter the code from the watch, tap on pair, allow or deny the permission for notifications again. Tap on next, set up the bedtime, so basically the time on which you go to bed and the time you uh, wake up by swiping on the hours and minutes, then tap next. And if you want to turn on the do not disturb mode during sleep, tap on yes. If you don't want to, tap on no. And here we have the location permission. This is required for features like weather, uh, tracking your activities on the map and stuff like that. If you want to use those features, tap on allow location. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. 
Next we, next we have the calendar access. This, this is useful for the calendar events. You can see them on the watch. Uh, I'm not sure if it, you can interact with them, but basically you should, you should see the notifications about the events on your watch. If you want to use it, tap on allow full calendar access. If you don't care, tap on uh, skip. Next we have the, uh, oh, never mind. We don't have more permissions. We can tap on sync now. Finish. Dismiss. And you should see the home page of the app now. And you can tap on more. Carbon devices. And you should see your 4 runner 35 on the list. You can tap on it. And here we have it. Okay, so that's how you pair it through the setup process. Now I'm gonna disconnect it. Okay, and we're gonna uh, connect it through the settings. So, first thing we need to do is to open the or enter the pairing mode on our watch. And to do it, press and hold the down uh, back button to open the menu. Then scroll through the menu by using the down button. Select the settings option and press the action button. Select Bluetooth, select the activity button. Scroll down, select the perf smartphone press the activity button and the watch will enter the pairing mode. Now you can download and install the app or if you have it installed, just open it. And if you install the app for the first time, you will need to log in and stuff like that, allow the permissions and then the app will detect or should detect your watch automatically. But if you're already uh, logged into an app and you, you have it downloaded, you can tap on more, uh, Garmin devices, add device, and the app will search for the nearby devices, should detect your watch, tap on it, or rather on connect it, enter the code. Tap on pair. Allow or deny the permission for the notifications. Tap next. Set up the bedtime. Tap next, and then tap on sync now. Finish. And you should see the um, home page. And if you tap on more and Garmin devices, you will see for a runner 35. And that's how you pair it through the uh, settings. And uh, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.